Okay. So this is the other video I wanted to talk to you guys about something. Okay, so in the last video you heard me say that I had to have endoscopy. Um, which is because I have been throwing up every night and at least once a day. Um, ever since I had surgery. Um, and they don't know why. They are telling me, oh, maybe it's what you're eating. And I'm just like, okay, true. I don't always eat what I'm supposed to eat. I'll be the first to admit that. But I'm like, but it's been happening since day one. You know, um, I wasn't eating anything for those first two months. Really, I was just purely on liquids and pureed foods. So I was like, what's your excuse for that? So, and then, you know, the first couple of months, I was doing good. You know, I was, I was, I was eating everything like I was supposed to. So it's just like, there's no excuse for it. So they have to go in and do an endoscopy and see what's going on. Which, which is why I'm, I'm saying this because, um... Whenever you're considering a surgery, got your bypass, the sleeve, the band, whatever you need or whatever you're getting, please be aware that there are risks, there are complications, there are unfortunate situations that happen after. Now, everything is not peachy. Now, I've watched people's videos about, oh, I had surgery, I lost distance weight, everything's great. And, you know, nobody talks about the, the not-so-pretty side of it. You know, it's not always glamorous and losing weight is good for you. You feel good. You feel better about yourself. Of course, those are all great things. But um, I don't always have the best experiences. I've been to the hospital more times after my surgery. I've been to the ER more times. I've had migraines consistently since I've had the surgery. I didn't have this issue. I could keep food down. Um, you know, it's just all the, oh shit, dumb. It was all these little things that were leading me to believe, yeah, maybe it's because of the surgery because, you know, it just is. And they feel like maybe um, when I healed up, I held up too tight, so they have to go and expand it with a balloon. Now that does not sound like fun to me, um, but it's, if it's what I need to get through, then I will do it. Um, it's, it's just unfortunate that this is how I continue to struggle with the surgery after surgery, you know? So, like I said, be aware of whatever surgery you're getting, be aware of the complications, the risks, and all the good and the bad that come with it. You know, I'm not saying don't do it. No, I, I totally support anybody who wants to go get the surgery or any other surgery to help them. Remember, they say it's a tool. It is a tool. It's not going to fix your whole life, though, you know? So don't expect to get it and be skinny in six months. It's not going to be that. But you will work to it. You will get to where you want to be. And it might not even be skinny. Like, I don't want to be skinny. I just want to be happy. I want to be able to be in my size and feel comfortable and feel, you know, okay with myself. You know? Um, so whatever goal you have for yourself, that's what, what, what you will get to. But um, also, just just... Basically, just take that consideration, consideration, and know that um, that's what that's about. Um, I, I I didn't think it was gonna be this short, but I guess that's all I have to say about it. But um, I feel like if you guys have any questions, there have been people who've asked me, you know, what do you think about this? What do you think about that? Blah blah. And it's just like I will tell you my honest opinion about the surgery, about my own personal experience. But don't think I'm trying to discourage you. I would never. But I'm trying to let you know that, hey, when you get this, here come all the risks right along with it. Just know that. Just know that and take that into consideration and make this decision that's best for you, you know? Um, so, okay. I think that's it. If you guys have any questions about anything, feel free to let me know. Um, especially about the surgery. Uh, if you guys just want to talk or just chat about it. Um, feel free to let me know. Um, okay, well, I guess that's it. That's all I have to say, um, about it. Just take heed. Um, and I guess I will talk to you guys later. Um, I will try to make a video before I go to surgery. Um, there is no guarantee, because I, 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 you guys know me. Um, so if I don't, I will talk to you guys later. I would do my best to make a video before, but I, like I said, I do not make those promises because y'all know I will be like, I will make a video for months. That's just how it goes. And, um, okay. So if you guys need anything, want to talk or anything about anything, um, feel free to hit me up, but I will talk to you guys later. Bye.